Hello everyone, it's uh, Saturday 21st of March. Uh, I'm just uh, doing a, a, a reflection um, uh, pretty regularly, I think, for the time being. I'll be doing these um, uh, just to encourage us and, um, and help us uh, to uh, stay focused on, on, on the Lord who, who will uh, lead us and, and help us during this time. He's our refuge and our strength. I was reflecting today on um, uh, the story of um, the rescue, the salvation of Moses when he was a baby. That's, you can find that in Exodus 2. Uh, in that we get this story of, of how Moses uh, was, uh, um, was floated out on the waters um, uh, by his mum. Uh, the, 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 at, the, at that time, the Pharaoh's policy was that all Hebrew uh, male children would be killed uh, and um, and so um, uh, she was kind of basically just trying to kind of do something uh, to um, protect um, uh, her child and um, and so she floated him off onto the uncertainty of the river um, hoping 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 that uh, there would be help uh, for him. Maybe even she had in mind that uh, he might be spotted by uh, Pharaoh's daughter, who knows, um, or one of the royal family as they bathed in, these, uh, in those waters. Um, uh, we don't know, but certainly what we do know is that Pharaoh's daughter did find this baby. Uh, she, um, uh, she identified him as uh, one of the Hebrew children. Uh, and and yet uh, kept him, uh, uh, adopted him, and even amazingly employed uh, his mother um, to be wet nurse and to bring him up. Uh, so um, his his attachment needs as a baby, his his need for care um, uh, and 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 for security and all that sort of thing was taken care of, and yet it all came from. Uh, simply trusting him into uncertain waters um, and uh, we're in uncertain waters at the moment you know we we've got uh, all sorts of challenges and uh, 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 unknown things that we're dealing with uh, day by day um, and trying to kind of tr just trying to do our best uh, like Moses mum did she literally did her best um, uh, to look after um, you know the one she loved uh, um, we're going to be doing that kind of thing a lot at the moment, doing our best in a difficult situation. Um, uh, you know, th there's something about just making good enough decisions that's important for us to bear in mind. If you're uh, if you're a parent and you've got children at home, and you know, and you're all you know in a, in in uh, isolation uh, in your home and you're trying to work out how to do life now that school isn't happening or whatever or if you're uh, out of work and um, uh, unable to you know to know what to do now if you're um, uh, if you're having to self-isolate uh, all, all these kinds of things what they do is they mean that we just have to make good enough decisions we have to do our best in this time um, uh, uh, God knows our needs. He is our refuge and our strength in in, in these times of trouble. Um, uh, uh, we uh, we have to uh, uh, trust ourselves to the uncertain waters of this time. Uh, and, uh, and 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 for many of us, maybe it's going to be simply a matter of we're going to be a bit like. Moses' sister standing at a distance to see what will happen. We, we're, we're, we're waiting and watching a lot at the moment. Um, but um, uh, uh, my encouragement to you today is um, uh, uh, for us as a network, uh, for us as uh, people in relationship with one another, that, um, uh, that you would be encouraged that even as you float in uncertainty, um, God is with you and he, uh, he, he can be trusted um, to give us a way forward, to help us um, uh, and to secure us. Do read that passage, do reflect further on this, um, but I hope this helps.